Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a really simple and nourishing lotion. Our skin is the biggest organ in our body and anything we put on it is going to get chill lotions and skincare products because most of them are full of fragrances, dyes, carcinogens, and preservatives such as formaldehyde and parabens. And so they're just really not healthy for your skin at all. I love making my own because I know exactly what's in it. I feel comfortable with anyone in our family using it, even my daughter who's only a year old. This is just a really great all-around recipe that you can use for anything. It's a really all-purpose lotion. I've even used it as a diaper rash cream before, but you can use it as a body lotion, hand lotion, foot lotion, just like anything. It's really great for anything you want to use it for. Plus, it's not that hard to make, so it's just a really quick and simple recipe, and let's get right into it. So first you're gonna need a double boiler, which I don't actually have a double boiler, so I'm just going to use a little pot that's resting inside of a larger pot that has water in it so that the steam and the heat from the water will slowly melt my oils and not scorch them and destroy some of the good properties in them. And then for our oils, you'll need coconut oil, shea butter, olive oil, beeswax. I'm just using the beeswax, beeswax pellets, but they also come in blocks, either way is fine. I find pellets are just easier to work with and measure out and you don't have to cut it off of a block of beeswax. Vitamin E oil. This is optional, you can make it without it, but I find that it just really helps boost the healing and moisturizing power of this lotion and I always love adding it. So if you have some on hand, it's a great thing to add to this. And then you just need some essential oils. So today I think I'm going to use peppermint and cedarwood because I'm making this for a guy. Those are just some great, more manly scents, but you can do something like lavender and orange is a really great, more floral scent. There's a ton of different options for essential oil combinations. And that's all for our ingredients. So let's get into measuring. We're going to do one and one third cup of coconut oil, one half cup of shea butter, one quarter cup of olive oil, and one heaping tablespoon of beeswax pellets. If you want to get really specific with the amount of beeswax, we're aiming for 0.33 ounces of beeswax if you want to get really precise, because when you're using a tablespoon like this, it's hard to be very precise. So, but generally, I'm not really particular about having measurements perfect. I just put some in there. <laughs> a lot of times I don't even measure out my recipes, so. Then I'm just gonna take this pot over to my double boiler and turn it on to medium high and wait for all the oils to melt. And then once all the oils are melted, I'm just gonna take it off of our double boiler and add one tablespoon of vitamin E oil and then somewhere around 20 to 30 drops of essential oil. I did 10 drops of cedarwood and 10 drops of peppermint in this batch. And then I'm just gonna store mine in a pint mason jar. And it's all done. And this will harden and solidify and get kind of a creamy color. After it's hardened, I'm actually probably going to put that in the refrigerator just to speed up the cooling process. You can just leave it on your counter, it might just take a while to harden. I actually have one of these lotions here that I made yesterday. This is just in one of the jars that I use to sell lotion in my online store. This one's the lavender lotion, and I just want to show you how it kind of gets creamy in color. But that's all there is to it. It was just super easy. This is just a super healthy recipe. It's going to be super nourishing for your skin. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!